Hello my friends, welcome to Top Classical Music. Today we are going to talk about the history of Symphony No. 9. The Symphony No. 9 in D minor, Op 125, is a choral symphony, the final complete symphony by Ludwig van Beethoven, composed between 1822 and 1824. It was first performed in Vienna on May 7, 1824. The symphony is regarded by many critics and musicologists as Beethoven's greatest work and one of the supreme achievements in the history of music. One of the best-known works in common practice music, it stands as one of the most frequently performed symphonies in the world. The Ninth was the first example of a major composer using voices in a symphony. The final, fourth, movement of the symphony features for vocal soloists and a chorus in the parallel modulated key D major. The text was adapted from The Ode to Joy, a poem written by Friedrich Schiller in 1785 and revised in 1803, with additional text written by Beethoven. The Philharmonic Society of London originally commissioned the symphony in 1817. The main composition work was done between autumn 1822 and the completion of the autograph in February 1824. The symphony emerged from other pieces by Beethoven that, while completed works in their own right, are also in some sense sketches, rough outlines, for the future symphony. Although most of his major works had been premiered in Vienna, Beethoven was keen to have his latest composition performed in Berlin as soon as possible after finishing it, as he thought that musical taste in Vienna had become dominated by Italian composers such as Rossini. When his friends and financiers heard this, they urged him to premiere the symphony in Vienna in the form of a petition signed by a number of prominent Viennese music patrons and performers. Beethoven was flattered by the adoration of Vienna, so the Ninth Symphony was premiered on May 7, 1824 in the Theater am Kardnerder in Vienna along with the overture, the consecration of the house, Die Wiehe de Houses, and three parts of the Missa Solemnis, the Kyrie, Credo, and Agnus Dei. This was the composer's first on-stage appearance in 12 years, the hall was packed with an eager audience and a number of musicians and figures in Vienna. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video.